Georgi and Jog So and give examples of how they're different. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to episode two of Ma'awis Mondays. Today, I'd like to talk about verbs a little bit and transitive and intransitive verbs. And I'll make some reference to how we learn the Somali language as English speakers using some of those verb category languages, so verb category terms as well. So we're going to talk about verbs which are 2A. And the example that we're going to talk about is the verb Georgi, which is a transitive verb, which means that it has an object. So Georgi means stop, but it means stop whatever you're doing, stop something. Okay, if you're doing something, they say Georgi to stop what you're doing, okay, which is a 2A verb. But the version which is intransitive, meaning that it does not have an op- does not have an object, if someone says jog so, this is the form 3A, if they, if they say jog so, what they mean is stop yourself, okay? So if you're moving somewhere and they say jog so, they say, they're saying stop yourself rather than stop what you're doing. So that's kind of the difference between those. And I wanted to make this video most of all because I get confused with them. Like we don't really, we don't have a different verb for those two things in English. So I wanted to give an example of the form 2A first, the first one, which um, which is transitive. It does take an object. So for example, we could say something like, right, like the, the, the police, um, the police, aya babur that the police the babur jojie that the police stopped stop the car right boliska aya aya babur jojie the police stopped the car so it's not that the police are stopping themselves it's not saying the police stopped it's saying they stopped something else right which is different to the to the other verb jog so that i talked about which is 3a right if i give the example of um babur ka wahu jog sandana guriga hortisa Okay, so if we say Baburka Wahujog san, the Babur Wahujog san, Dona Guriga Hortisa. So the Babur Wahujog san, it stopped. It didn't stop doing something else. It's not like the police stopping the car in the previous example. It's the Babur Wahujog san. The Babur is, is, is stopping it's itself, right? The car isn't doing something else that it's stopping. It's, it's stopping itself, right? Dona, or it will stop, right? We're saying it will stop because we're saying Dona. Guriga Hortisa. Okay, so obviously what that, what that second example is, is, um, is the car stop, is the car will stop outside the house, right? The, the Hortisa, the Hor is the outside. The Tisa is referring to it, it's outside. These prepositions are kind of funky, really. Like prepositions and preposition clusters are a whole world that even I am struggling to get my head around. But um, that they're a type of type of prepositions in Somali. So, um, so that's it. That's it for this video. I just wanted to give you two examples of Somali verbs, Georgi and Jog So, and give examples of how they're different. Um, obviously, the first one being um, being transitive, it taking an object. And in the case of the sentence that we looked at, the police actually stopping the car. In the second example, something which is which doesn't take an object, the car itself stopping um, Guriga Hortisa, so out outside of the house. So that's everything for this very short Somali language Marawis Mondays. Hope you enjoyed it. If anybody else needs to learn a little bit about these differences between transitive and intransitive verbs in Somali, please share this with them and like the video as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.